Okay, so I don't know if it was something that I played, um, but you know, you just I want us, you guys to see that crashes happen, um, and you just have to usually reboot the computer and start over again. Um, but they do happen, and just in case they do happen, I wanted to show you that you always want to be hitting Command S. I'm in the habit after twenty something years of using Pro Tools or whatever of uh, hitting Command S all the time. But if you don't, let me show you. If you go to this um, hard drive, these are my tutorial sessions, and in your Pro Tools sessions, like this is Let It Be, you'll see that there is a, um, a folder called Session File Backups. And you'll see this is today at 8.42 a.m., uh, just now. So it backs up, I believe, every five minutes. And you can change that under preferences, but usually five minutes is fine. But it's really great in case you did not save inside of this folder of your session is a folder called Session File Backups. It's invaluable sometimes when you may not be paying attention um, or whatever. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do now is um, we, you got the idea of, of Mini Grand. You just uh, It's pretty darn easy. It's just your basic piano. I wanted to give um, Easy Keys a try, and I thought we just would install, download, and install this ourselves. So I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to do the demo version so we can see how it works. And I click on it, and off it goes. And you're like, okay, what happened? You'll notice up here, I'm using Safari. I use Safari. If anybody's saying that um, um, Safari is not c compatible, it's, it's, again, this is 10 years ago, people using um, Firefox. It's not the thing anymore. Um, I like Safari. I know some people are Chrome users, but I'm a big, if you're going to use Mac, I say Safari. It's built for the Mac. It's uh, updated. It is not any, no, there's no viable argument against using Safari in my experience. Um, so it's downloading and off it goes. It's going to go into my download folder. And I get to my download folder by going to the finder and you make sure up here it says finder and then in my favorites here is my download folder just in case just to show you guys and if anybody doesn't know if you want to add something to your favorites so say um let me close all this stuff so you can see um all right let's say i want to add uh, incompatible software to my favorites i can just drag it right there and then bam and so now anytime I need to get there, so it's, it's, this is uh, my argument against putting stuff on your desktop. Um, so because uh, you can still create these, these are shortcuts. So you find the folder, you put your, you go to documents, if you have your stuff in documents, and I can take this Pro Tools folder and drag it there. And you, you use this instead of putting stuff on your desktop. You go, well, I can't get to stuff fast enough. Put them in your favorite bar over here. So, and then automatically when you get a Mac, it puts stuff in your favorite bar. And I always add stuff to it. Um, I have my plugin folder in here because, and these are all just different audio stuff. Um, I'm always having to go to this, um, um, <laughs> uh, the plugins uh, and tweak stuff and everything. You probably won't. Um, but I just, I have a lot of crap I got to keep track of. All right, so back to the download folder. Uh, I believe we finished downloading. And again, the shortcut to get to the download folder from, from Safari or from the Finder, Command Option L. And there it is. And it shows us that it finished. From this download tab right here, you can double click on it. And it's going to open up. It's the same thing as going to the Finder. Um, and Beanie. Um, and you'll see it here. There's my easy keys. And we're opening it there, but you'll notice this. Watch this. If I'm in the finder right here, Command Option L, there's my download folder. So Command Option L gets you to your download folder. Download L. Uh, I guess the D would, I don't know. But Command Option L in Safari, Command Option L in the finder gets you to your download folder. Um, download window in Safari, download folder on the Mac. So we're going to let this guy finish downloading while Beanie bites my hand under my table. La la la. 
So we're going, I know we're going to have to quit Pro Tools because when you install a plugin, when you install a plugin, I'm going to save, I'm going to quit. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to close um, Mini Grand and I'm going to move Pro Tools where you can see it. I'm going to create a new instrument track next to the Mini Grand. I'm going to save Command Shift N. Remember, right arrow stereo, down arrow until I get to the instrument track. I hit anything in blue. I hit return. Bam. And we're going to just go ahead and name it easy keys and now hopefully we'll go right here multi-channel plug-in instrument easy keys yes okay I'm gonna put this is not authorized let's say we want the demo uh, it's demo mode the limitation the piano will detune itself every now and then <laughs> that's not gonna be fun okay um, drag and drop from easy keys is disabled okay favorite section in song browser is disabled saving is disabled okay this could be a problem yes yeah, so I, I guess it's kind of like a drug dealer and uh, if you like it uh, you gotta buy it so I'm gonna say okay fine so let's see I'm gonna put this track and record right first and I'm gonna put my headphones on so I can hear something okay so how the heck does this work this is where I would go to the uh, go to YouTube and find the tutorial for the intro to this but let's see what we got here well, and we, we know we're in the key of C. We know we've got our chord chart over here. All right. I'm going to run to YouTube real quick, figure this out, and come back. So you guys get Easy Keys installed, and then let's give it a go, and let's put it together 
uh, for Let It Be. It can't be that hard, right? We'll see.